Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll show you how I painted the bomb squig from the Kill Team Octarius box set. Here's the model we'll be painting today, and it's all primed, ready to go. And in this video, I'll show you how I paint him with mostly contrast paint to a quick tabletop ready standard and some super easy techniques that I think anyone can do. And this is the finished piece that we'll be looking for. So I primed the model with a Citadel Color Wraithbone Contrast Undercoat and glued it together with Citadel Plastic Glue. And I'll put a list of all the paints we use in the video in the description below. And I'll put some links there too, so that you can save up to 20% on the retail price. Okay, let's get started. And so first of all, I took some Contrast Gilliman Flesh and Contrast Volupus Pink. And I've opened them both together because we're gonna do some wet blend in here. So I start with the Gilliman Flesh straight out the pot. I'm just going around the lower jaw, almost the gum there where those teeth are poking through. I'm just putting a little bit around the teeth, so quite thin. But as I get down towards those recesses there, I'm being a bit more generous with the amount of paint and going a bit more heavy. And this is where we're gonna do the wet blending. I'm gonna let this part of the video go in real time, just so you can see exactly how I did it. So I won't cut this bit out. But once I've done that, I go straight into that volupus pink. And then I put a decent amount along the same line where I put most of that Gilliman flesh. And then I'm just gonna run the two together and let them kind of bleed into each other. Then I wash my brush out in some water, dry it on a bit of kitchen towel, and I'm back into the Gilliman flesh. And now I'm gonna run that along that line where the two colors have bled together a little bit. And then I'm just gonna dot that paint in, uh, wipe some off on the kitchen towel there, back with a bit more volupus pink, and then I'm just gonna work those two colors in, just blending them together really gently, taking my time, because of the amount of paint I've put on here, it's not gonna dry really quick, so you've got a fair amount of time to work with it. But then as I come away from that blend, now I'm going straight in with Volupus Pink, and then the rest of this squig is gonna be that color. But I go back to the Gilliman Flesh, add a little bit more, and then just feather it in. So you're just gonna make that nice gentle fade, and this is really easy using these two colors. They work really nicely together, and then just back and forth between the two until you're happy with the result. And then as you can see, it all starts to fade in. And once this dries, you'll get a really nice natural look. That's the wet blend taken care of. So now I'm gonna go over the rest of the body of the squig with this volupus pink. So I chose not to do it red. I wanted to go for a bright pink and I thought that would contrast a bit better with the red dynamite that it's carrying. So I thought that just looked better. And um, the pink I've also used in my commander walks on the handles of their weapons. So this all kind of ties it together for the look. But you can see I'm putting quite a lot of paint on here. And in the video, if you watch my Orc Knob uh, painting video and the Death Core of Krieg painting video, then I don't use the contrast paints this heavily for the detailed work. But on a large model, well, it's not big, but on a large surface area like this with lots of texture that you see with the squig, you can really use the contrast paint a bit more heavily and then that's gonna go into the recesses and it's gonna give you some nice shading but also come away from the larger raised areas giving some idea of a highlight. So this is a really great technique for the contrast paints. Then I took some base Wraithbone paint. I'm gonna tidy up any areas where I've gone over that pink. So you can see here, just cover it over with one coat usually enough. Sometimes you have to do two, depends how strong the color is. But this is a really important part of the process Certainly with this quick painting, with the contrast paints, just doing one coat of contrast paints, it's really important to have all the different areas nice and crisp and clean. So I do this stage a few times during each painting, the session of each model, and then that just makes sure that each stage is nice and crisp. So when you put that other paint on, it comes out looking really nice. And here I'm just doing the eyes, just gonna do a little dot there. I'm always scared of doing the eyes, but I'm just taking my time. Got a tiny brush with a tiny amount of paint on the end, and I'm just gonna put a little dot and then on each eye, and then we'll go over that with some more paint later on. Then I took some lead belcher base paint, and this is gonna be used to block in all the metal parts of the model. And so we've got these two grenades that he's carrying in his mouth, and also this little receiver that he's got on his back as well, and this huge landmine that he's carrying strapped underneath him under his belly. So I'm gonna use one coat of lead belcher straight out the pot, I don't water it down or anything, and this one coat is all we need to use, and that's gonna work really nicely to give us the metal look for all the metallic areas of the model. And here on this little receiver, we've got the aerial, the little receiver box, so give that a good coat too. 
Then I took some contrast dark angels green and when that lead belcher was completely dry, I put a nice thin coat of this dark angels green over the grenades. Now a lot of the grenades on the orc commanders are red, but using the green is going to work really nicely so that it doesn't kind of all look too red and pink with this model. Then I took some contrast black templar and this is going to go over all the straps and the straps of the dynamite, the straps around the squig and parts of the aerial of the receiver as well. And now I'm not putting loads on, certainly not as much as I did with the body of the squig. So this is where you, you know, you'd be a bit more careful with the contrast paints, use it a bit more sparingly and just do a nice coat, but still only need one coat. Now I'm just taking my time, going over all these straps, moving the model so that I can keep my hand in the same position. I'm braced on the table, so I'm not shaking too much. And then I've got lots of control. Next, I took some contrast blood angels red and this is going to go over all the dynamite. Now, if you wanted to paint your squig red, then this would be a good colour. It's nice and bright, so it would work really well. And I think if you put a shade over that, maybe a null noir, you could dirty it up a little bit. I think these two colours combined would work really well. And then I took some contrast yandan yellow, and this is going to go just on this little bit of exposed wire. And then I'm also going to put a little bit over each eye. So just a little dot. And then I'm not going to paint the pupils. My hand's not steady enough. Um, but if you wanted to, then when all this is dry, you could just go over and put a little dot for the pupils in black. Then I took some contrast skeleton hoard, and this is going to go over all the nails of the claws. And I'm also going to use this for the teeth as well. So just going over those claws, quite generous for this because it dries quite thin. And then all the teeth are going to get a good coat. And with contrast paints, I try and start and end my brush strokes where I want most of the paint to build up. And I also push and pull the paint around so that it sets in the recesses if it doesn't go there on its own. So here with the teeth, I really want it to settle on that gum line. So I'll just push the paint along that gum line and get it to be a bit darker there. Then I took some null oil shade and this is going to go all over anything that's exposed from that lead belcher that we did earlier. Really important to make sure all these uh, different stages we do dry completely before you go over them with a different paint or a shade too. So here I'm going over all that metal area putting a good amount on there and that's going to dirty it up, bring out the texture of the model and really go into the shade. A little tiny bit on the metal ring pulls of the grenades there as well. And then I move on to some contrast agarus dunes and this is going to go on the base. So that little bit of terrain that's fixed to the base is going to get a good coat. And then I'm going to just put a coat all over the top of the base as well. But if you want to see how I made the base for this model, then I've done a separate video on that. And it's the same base that I use for all my Orc Commandos, which ties into the Kill Team Octarius box set board. And there we go. There's our bomb squig painted with some real quick and simple techniques using mostly contrast paint to a tabletop ready standard. Really happy with how he turned out. He could do with some pupils. So I think when I'm feeling a bit braver, I might go back and add those. But overall, I'm really happy. And the view from the back of this model is so funny. I think it's going to be awesome to play with. And here he is alongside the Orc Knob getting ready for battle. and I can't wait to get playing with these guys. I'm going to go and make the base now for this bomb squig. And if you'd like to see how I've done that, then check out the video on how to make the simple Octarius Orc bases. And you can also see a video on how to paint the Orc Commando Orc Knob as well. And I've done a video for the veteran guardsman and how to make the bases for the Krieg too. I'll put a list of all the paints using this video in the description below. And I'll put some links there as well so you can save up to 20% on the retail price. And those links can take you to Wayland Games or Element Games. Both are awesome companies where you can order online and you're going to save 20% on not just on your paints but on the products too. And Element Games have got Kill Team at the moment available for $99.99. And so not only do you save money but you also support the channel too because I get commission from any sales made through those links. So if you do choose to click the link and have a look, then thanks so much for that support. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this gave you an idea how you might like to paint your bomb squig from the Octarius box set. If you don't want to do it pink, then certainly use a red or any other color from the contrast range. I think a lot of them are really great for these squigs. But thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description and it'll be great to see you there.